Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what I eat in a day. Now I know I've been MIA for a minute, but it's because the last week and a half has been crazy. If you follow me on Instagram, you know we actually had our baby shower. I will be sharing a video about the preparation for that as well as the actual baby shower. And I'm actually gonna be doing a haul, like showing and sharing everything that we've had given to us, but I'm not gonna be doing that for a little bit, which leads me to the point that a lot of you guys have been generously asking where we are registered and we're actually Actually registered with Amazon so I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below so with that being said you guys know that I am basically going into my third trimester now which is crazy and my diet has been a weird mix of like satiating my pregnancy cravings while still trying to get in an abundance of nutrients not only for myself but obviously for baby P so yeah I will be sharing with you today what I ate also don't forget to check the info box for today's semi-secret, but not actually secret because I'm telling you about it, giveaway. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you do like it. It helps to support my channel and it also lets me know what you like to see. So with that being said, let's hop right in. All right, so we're starting off with breakfast people. So I pulled out my unsweetened vanilla almond milk as well as this einkorn cereal from Young Living. Einkorn, if you don't know, is basically just a really ancient form of wheat. It's a type of grain that apparently a lot of people can more easily digest because of the way that the crop has not been as severely altered over the years, something like that. Don't quote me on it. That's the gist. And this morning I was just craving this cereal. Some mornings I just wake up wanting carbs and that is it, that's all I want. And so this was one of those mornings. I also brewed a little bit of my loose leaf passion fruit iced tea and poured that over some crushed ice. You guys know I've been drinking a lot more herbal tea in my pregnancy, but now later in my pregnancy, I do have a little bit of green or black tea from time to time. So fast forward to lunch, you guys know my food life has been revolving around different ways to eat my sweet potatoes that we harvested from our garden. And so Dan was very excited to help me with this. He loves getting to use the kitchen tools. So he sliced up some sweet potatoes and then stacked them like a deck of cards, apparently. Um, he was very excited to also do that again, like do another shot of him stacking the sweet potatoes. So he did that for me. He also sliced up a couple of jalapenos. I didn't say this, but I'm making sweet potato nachos. This is like a version of a recipe that I saw on Pinterest. You guys know I'm obsessed with Pinterest. If you wonder where I get most of my food inspiration, it's pretty much entirely from Pinterest. I mess with recipes all the time, but I just love that platform. So on that note, I will link my Pinterest down below because I'm a pinning machine. And if you have a similar taste in food as me or just anything as me, I don't know, maybe you'll wanna follow my Pinterest. Shout out to my Pinterest, apparently. <laughs> so once I added some oil and a couple of different spices to my sweet potatoes, I think it was like cumin, chili powder, um, some kind of Puerto Rican spice blend that I got after my sister-in-law cooked with it. Um, I just tossed them up and then spread them out on the baking tray. I think that was a little bit of garlic powder there that I added on top as well. And some pink Himalayan salt. I threw the potatoes into the oven to bake. And I don't remember how long, maybe like 350, 20 minutes, something like that. And then I cut up a sweet Vidalia onion. I also pulled out a block of cheddar cheese to grate. You guys know that I like grating my cheeses. I don't really like them pre-grated because they typically come with some kind of coating around it. And I don't want the coating, I just want the cheese. So I grated up my cheese and then I cut open an avocado because any excuse that I can find to have avocado 
I'm taking it. <laughs> Then I squeezed in a little bit of, I think, lemon and lime juice into the avocado. I chopped up some cilantro. Cilantro is one of my all-time favorite herbs. That's probably a big reason I love Mexican food. I threw in a little bit of chunky sea salt. And I think that was actually it. So it was kind of like a really basic guacamole. I just knew I wanted some kind of like avocado mixture on my sweet potato nachos. So I had an Asian pear from Costco that I wanted to chop up and eat. And so I chopped that up, but then I pulled out my sweet potatoes and I added the toppings that I wanted to cook on top. So that was my shredded cheddar cheese. I also pulled out some canned black beans from my garage pantry. I rinsed the beans and then I threw a couple on top of the sweet potatoes. Then I threw the nachos back into the oven, and once they came out smelling amazing, it was time to finish building them. So I took a few off the baking sheet and scooped those onto my plate. Then I added the jalapenos, as well as a scoop of my guacamole, guacamole, <laughs> as well as a scoop of some sour cream. I also decided to add a little bit of jarred salsa that I had on hand, and then I just put my pear on the plate, and that was my meal. It was so good. Like, I thought, okay, this will be good, but like, whoa it was really good and even dan who's starting to get a little sweet potato now he was eating them and he was like oh my gosh these are so good so yeah 10 out of 10. so later that night this was really random but i decided i wanted gnocchi and i've actually never made gnocchi at home but i had a bag in the freezer that i had bought a few months ago so i just decided i wanted to make that and then kind of a random craving i was having and also we just had a ton on hand that needed to be used was roasting some carrots so i pulled out my carrots and chopped them up and then I gave them a nice wash in my Thieves fruit and veggie wash. I love this stuff. I just add a capful to the bowl of whatever fruits or veggies I'm trying to wash. And then I just add in some water and I kind of massage the veggies around. And I love knowing, especially when I'm buying them from a store, like I didn't grow them, that I'm getting all of the ickiness off. But yeah, so I put some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of honey, and then I crushed some fresh garlic into the mix. Now, if I could redo this, I would not have put all of this on the carrots, not because it was too much, but because a lot of it seems to get cooked off. And I realized afterwards when I slowed down and actually took another look at the recipe that they said not to use like all of it when you're cooking, but to save a little so that when the carrots come out, you add this on the carrots. Does that make sense? So these turned out good, but they would have been better if I had done that because the sauce was amazing and it was a little bit of a bummer to have a lot of it kind of cooked away in the oven. So yeah, I just dumped the sauce all over the carrots, gave it a nice little tis toss. I don't know what a tis toss is. Let's just roll with it. So then I poured my gnocchi into a pot of boiling water, added a pinch of Himalayan salt, and stirred that up to cook. I basically just followed the directions on the package, like on how to cook it. So yeah. 
Then I spread my carrots all over my baking sheet. I added a little bit of salt and then I threw them in the oven. You know me, I'm guessing, like 400 degrees, 20 minutes, don't fully remember. But then I put some butter in a pan, added some sweet Vidalia onions, and then I took these mushrooms that I had frozen. I didn't get to eat through all of my last round of produce from Costco, and so maybe I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I wanted to make sure any leftover was frozen. So I got these mushrooms in the freezer in time. I was very proud of myself. Then I added a little bit of white wine. Maybe that's more than a little bit. I don't know. I love the flavoring though. And then I added a little bit of olive oil. Next up, I crushed some more fresh garlic because there's no such thing as too much garlic in my food, in my cooking, in my house. I just love it. And then I just let it simmer. So after it had simmered for a little bit, I added some heavy whipping cream. And yes, this was smelling as good as it looks. And then I also threw in some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And then the gnocchi, which had been done cooking a little while ago and I had like drained it, I threw that into the sauce as well. And let me just tell you, like I said, the whole house smelled amazing. And if I'm giving you a spoiler alert, this stuff was amazing. It was so good, so creamy and totally hit the spot for what I was craving on this night. And on this night, Dan was actually eating this as well. I feel like I always say this, Dan loves to cook too. So sometimes I'm just cooking for me, sometimes I'm cooking for both of us, sometimes he's cooking for both of us. Then I chopped up a little bit of parsley, threw that on top and a bon appetit, people. It was delicious. So as if I hadn't had enough treats and carbs today, um, I decided to make these muffins. They basically just consist of bananas, some rolled oats, and once I had poured that in there, this is like the only version of a food processor I have, so it's not the biggest area, which was the challenge of making this but I blended all of that together to kind of hopefully bring the volume of ingredients in there down so I could put the rest of the ingredients in. So then I cracked a couple of eggs and threw that into the mix as well. So I bought this Hershey's cocoa powder. It's just straight cocoa powder, no added sugar, and I scooped that into my very, very full blender. Next up, I added a little bit of vanilla extract, which by the way, Dan and I are about to start trying to make our own vanilla extract, and I'm really excited. Um, then I poured in some almond milk, and honestly, it was a miracle that this didn't overflow. I really don't understand how it didn't, but just like the boss it is, it worked and it didn't. I also added a little bit of cinnamon and some baking powder. I also added a couple of scoops of coconut sugar to sweeten up the batter and pink Himalayan salt. So then I poured the mixture out of the blender processor thing into a glass bowl. 
If I had a bigger processor, I would have probably put all of these ingredients into that, but it was like time to transfer it. So I decided to do the rest by hand. So I also added a little bit of organic maple syrup. So the two sweeteners I used in this were coconut sugar and maple syrup and the bananas too. But um, then I added a big scoop of this nutso blend that I got from Costco and it has like chia seeds and hazelnuts and peanuts and brazil nuts and all of these nuts that i don't get enough of and it's really tasty and then i added way too many of these enjoy life mini chocolate chips i couldn't stop pouring them in actually i think i emptied the entire bag oh and then i opened another bag it's the same brand it's just bigger chips um and then i stirred it all together people So even though I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you now, these turned out really good. Like I'm still eating from them. I ended up freezing a bunch um, to just pull out one whenever I want. They're good, but I think in the future, next time I try to make chocolate muffins, I'll probably find a recipe that has like less banana, if any, in it, um, because I can really taste the banana and I don't hate that but I just wanna keep messing with it. You guys know that baking is something that I'm super new to and I'm kind of a free spirit with my cooking and that's not really what baking is. So I'm learning and adjusting and trying to make things, you know, ways that I like them, find, you know, new funky semi-healthier recipes. I don't know, I'm having fun, but I filled up these little muffin trays all the way to the top and then I added a couple more chocolate chips, which was, definitely super excessive i definitely didn't need to do that but also it tasted really good when it baked and cooled just saying um and then i added some chunky sea salt to the top i always get asked about this i will link it down below i top most of my foods with this and it gives it like a crunchy amazingness um so then while my muffins were baking i decided to use the rest of the bananas that i had bought to just freeze. I like having a lot of freezer bananas on hand because bananas are very frequently a base for my smoothies. My favorite smoothies to make are actually like banana base with peanut butter chocolate. I'm a big fan of like the nut butter chocolate flavoring, if you can't tell. Then my muffins were complete. Everything smelled like chocolate heaven. and I pulled them out and I let them cool for a few minutes and then I transferred them onto these little baking rack things that when I first got, I kind of was like, are these extra, like a little too bougie? I could just let my stuff cool in a paper towel. But now that I have the cools, I wanna say the full ventilation of whatever you're baking really is like a nice thing to have. So yeah, these are good guys. I was so excited and now as I'm narrating this, I kind of want to go get one out of the freezer. So speaking of being a pregnant lady, I not only wanted this muffin, which look at that, look at that, it was so good, but I also pulled out this organic French vanilla ice cream and I had ice cream and a muffin so hashtag don't judge me i want to be real about what i'm actually eating so that is it guys i hope that you enjoyed today's video you guys know i love sharing all of this with you and if you want to see more of my food videos i will have my what i eat in a day playlist down below so you could just binge them all if you want but also if you don't watch my day in my life or my week in my life videos um those videos basically always have food in them so if you're wanting more recipe inspiration you could check that out too if you've made it this far and you liked the video and you haven't given it a thumbs up please consider that it really helps my channel it helps to support me and i just appreciate it and at that point you're halfway done with entering today's giveaway check the info box um okay i'm gonna go now and stop blabbering i will hopefully see you guys back here soon with another new video all right bye guys